I mean, one of the biggest misconceptions of tire wear is that the tire that wears the longest is the best tire or best value. But the truth of the matter is there's that fine balance between tire wear and performance and traction. Let's say you take a pencil and you write something on a piece of paper and you grab an eraser that's been lying around the house, some old hardened one, and you start to try to erase that paper. Half the time it just smears it. But if you grab a brand new eraser, a little softer, more supple, and then you erase it, it usually just comes right off the, the pencil, just erases well. So it's kind of similar with tires. You get that real hardened rubber and you know it's not gonna make the traction that a nice, soft, supple rubber will do. The bikes these guys are riding, the suspension settings they're riding, the engines that they're using. These guys would like to have tires that hold up and work with their suspension settings and their speed. Suspension, chassis setup, and tires to me is more important than having a fire-breathing engine that you can't manage. So, you know, you have to make smart decisions that way. The idea of racing is to go faster and to go get to the finish line first. So, you know, that balance, it's, it's something we take seriously. He knows what the tire, how the tire is going to perform when he's on the track, which is, especially at these very top levels, it's, it's really, really important. The smartest people and the smartest minds in motocross, supercross, and in motorcycling in general are in this paddock right now. And these people are the ones that we have access to on a daily basis. And they might have different opinions on some of the others, but one tire, will the cream will rise to the top. They're always pushing the envelope to get the, the most advanced stuff out there. So that's also important. Like, you're not going to be a step behind, you know, when the new stuff comes out. That's, that's pretty critical. It's no longer just some round, black rubber thing with knobby bumps on it. And it's just truly amazing how much better the tires are today than they were 10, 20 years ago.